Hello and welcome to my first video of Path of Exiles. I am here playing this game just for the hell of it. My name in this game is Odo de Saint Amand, the name of an actual Knights Templar. Now, you're probably wondering, why did he name his person after Templar? Well, the class of my character is a Templar. So, yeah, just trying to stay with the names. Now, this is a Diablo style game. This is actually what Diablo should have been. Instead of like being its crappy self. Of course, I've never played Diablo, so I shouldn't be judging. But, the people who play Diablo that I know so this is way better. This is just the beginning area. It's just going to be undead and these sand spitters. Sand spitters will die one hit most of the time. The Drowned, they're pretty much, they're the people who got dropped off before I did, and they just drowned, washed ashore, became the undead. It's a real shame. Last time I was playing this game, I was playing as the assassin class, known as the Shadow. They have better accuracy than the Templar, and they are way tougher than the Templar. Got a mana flask. Should move that to a different area. It's a dual wield for the beginning. And, uh,. Go into the water, see if we can see any remaining drowned back there. Okay. None left over there, so we're going to have to go up there. And we're off to see the dead. Now... If you want to download this game, just go to pathofexiles.com, and it's 100% free. You have the option to pay for extras, like any other free game. This is my second character, so I got two character slots so far. I don't think you have to pay for any extras. leveled up. Now, if you ever level up, before like doing your skills, you should probably go to a town to do it, because you're vulnerable. Everything goes on. There's no like pause button. It's just 
all action every 24-7. And if you look into the right side of the screen, that little bar, it means Glacial Hammer. It's that little rune I put onto the staff, is about to level up. So if I keep using it, I'll have a more powerful attack. Wow, I actually found boots this early. That's a first. Three driftwood wands. What a waste of time. Seems like <laughs> the entire boat was full of wizards. The potions in the corner, those get refilled every time you kill a certain amount of enemies. Blue's mana, red's health, you know, it's the usual thing for RPGs. And I can level up Gr Glacial Hammer. Come back here. He didn't want to die. Well, who would want to die? Like, it's just strange. Dual wielding scepters. Yeah. Now. Nah. In this game, the areas that you go into can have a random amount of bosses. The first area will all. The first area in this place will always only have one boss. You'll be seeing him shortly if I don't die. He's just gonna be up here? Or not just yet. Let's uh, kill everything else before we try to uh, find that brain eater. Yeah, he's going to be up there. Let's see if there's anything down here before we go up there. No, wait, he's right there. Okay, let's see if there's anything up here before we go down there. Now, whenever you see like a small explosion happen from a normal attack, it's a critical hit. Another scepter. The only reason I'm collecting all these items is so I can trade them for currency items like uh, scrolls of knowledge and other jazz. But, it's a living. I'm gonna stop the video before I kill Hillock. I'll be back in one second, okay?